So the Chevy truck is finally going home. That's it. Uh, it's gonna live a long electric life. For everyone that asks if an old classic American car could be converted to electric, there's proof that you can convert it. Boo. There we go. Yeah, it doesn't get any better than this sample here. You know what I mean? So this is a classic. Everybody grew up having one of these in the family or when we were kids, we, my dad used to have one of these. And so it's cool. My brother, one of my oldest brother, Josue, is probably gonna love this. Still a fan of these. And I think he still has one, but here we go. This this guy is electric. Shoot a picture. There's a standard size. Ah, it fits perfect. No, you're right. Whatever. It's got a match. Is it the right thread? Yeah. Yeah. No way. There you go. <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. You could even go like further out, like put it on that little corner there. You want it to. Thursday morning. Today is the day that we power up this guy for the first time. Car's gonna run today. guys it's time to test this vehicle everything should be working on it all i need to do is turn the main high voltage power which is this switch here i had put this screw in here so that no one accidentally would turn it on right because i was working inside this contactor box so if anybody just accidentally turned it on then they will electrocute me so now with this contactor box done look at that it's time to check our systems. Oh, okay. So that one powers on. Okay, so let's see here. 109 volts. 109. All right. With that said, <laughs> ah, it came on. HPVS. AC50. Whoa, what's turning? Is the motor turning? Oh, you know why? Because they come with creep now. Okay, this thing is... Yeah, the, the motor's... The motor's turning. Oh yeah, it is turning. Two days, but it's finally there. Ready to... Should we go drive it? Is it ready to drive? It's ready, right? I don't know, what are you doing down there? That's it? Of course, the first thing you have to do is you have to program a few things on this guy to be able to drive it. Right now, he's uh, resetting the throttle value so that it doesn't think you're pressing the throttle, I don't know, 10%, 5%, I don't know. Yeah, something to. like that. It was uh, the motor spinning about 500 RPMs. Then we'll also have to program the Expert Pro. <laughs> oh! Okay, and this is Nice. What? It wor everything works! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Everything. Oh, we're, we're not quite there yet. Well, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> I didn't cross any cables, you know? Uh, Pretty much, I haven't had to change anything other than the DC to DC, but we caught that before. So. Yeah? Well, and actually we haven't tested it, so it's it's not running. The fuse might So you want to test that. So what we do is we turn the lights on, 
and then you look how dim it is, and then you turn this on, and it should get brighter. And it does. It does. So your DC's working. You don't even DC, need meters. DC Sometimes it's just these little things. Like if the lights get brighter, your voltage went up. So, <laughs> so that means it's working. <laughs> so that means it's working. Oh, I figure out this is the on button. I bet you this thing works. It just needs a speaker. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> wow, man, an original, an OG Blaupunt. Yeah. This, uh, we figure that this one actually turns on. And we go function, and the first thing to this guy drives. Of course it's gonna drive. Of course this has the custom two-speed transmission. That is so smooth and nice. They come in on gas. Yeah, yeah. They leave on electrons. Just it's, said, good. it's pretty light. 10% or something. Yeah. 5%. We? We're in low right now. Yeah. It applies maximum brake region. So right now it's set for 44%. So it's only going to do 44% of the max current. how you convert a classic BW into electric. So guys, I want to apologize for not being as active and creating as much content as I usually do. The reason is, of course, because I've been converting this car. To address those that have said and commented that my content these days is lacking substance, that I'm not really given any details as to what I'm doing, well, the reason is because the thing is that I'm down there not just converting this car, but also documenting the whole thing. Today we're gonna to show you how to convert this 1969 Carmen Ghia into an electric vehicle using EV West kit. So that I can edit that video into a long format in a step-by-step -step video, right? And so the reason why those details are not out and you, I'm not putting that video out is because it's not done. I have to first finish the car, I can work on the video, and then I once I finish the video, I can upload it and then you guys will be able to see it. So moving on to other things, I do owe you guys uh, an update for the Bendy Pod. Check this out. This just arrived. This arrived late last week and I've been playing with this over the weekend. So these are the first samples of the parts that are specifically made for a tripod. The other parts uh, that I used to make the other tripods were really not designed for that. They were designed for something entirely different. And so these are almost the same, but they have little changes here and there. Uh, and so I didn't want to order like the entire order because if I had made a mistake and there's a couple of little parts here that, that that have critical tolerances and stuff if I had those wrong then the whole batch would have been gone and it would have been a nightmare right they either have to like scrap them or I would have to like modify them myself and you know that don't have time just have to do the slide to a couple little slight changes just to make it better uh, and then I will be ordering those parts this week and then from there I can publish out the schedule as to when people are gonna get them my machine shop is usually very good at telling me when they're going to ship the parts and you know they're within a couple of days usually so that is what's happening with the bendy pot I am gonna have a few units available if you must have one if you're considering canceling your order because unless you get a unit you know within the next couple of weeks or something 
do email me but do keep in mind that I don't have a unit yet to send to everyone so if you are in a tight spot if if your situation requires you to either cancel your order because you can lo longer wait um, I might be able to send you one of these units right but keep in mind that the units that I have I it should really be going to all the people you guys have been suggesting like unbox therapy uh, all the other big bloggers that I have a couple of them that I've asked for stuff for them, you know, and I have to say I don't have any units. Um, they should really be going to them because my efforts have not yielded the desired results, right? I kind of felt short um, on the orders and stuff. But even though we didn't meet our, you know, quota or 300 orders or whatever, these are being ordered this week. And within 20 to 30 days, I think, then they're going to be coming in. I'll be able to start shipping them out to you. So that's today's update. Hopefully, I'm going to have a few more videos uh, later this week. Um, I have some giveaways coming up. They're going to be exciting. I'm going to be giving away a drone. I'm going to have a video where I show you how to make an electric skateboard. And so at the end of that video, I am going to give away either components or a fully operational board that we made on camera. And so I have that coming up later on this month, hopefully, if I can get it in this month, if I can work on it. All right, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing and liking. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, all right? Bye. Time to put the hood on this guy. What else is going on? Remember uh, the last trip to Solvang, I busted my 12 volt battery by not following. See, the reason why I messed up my batteries is because I didn't follow my own advice. I didn't bottom balance it. I just let the, the dumb RC charger charge the 